I didn't even wait. Hold up, before. <laughs> Dang, nah, those kids have a Mitzi. <laughs> why do they look like Dylan and Cole Sprout? No, why do they look like you and Hayden? <laughs> <laughs> We're missing. It's ten o'clock. Do you know where your child is? <laughs> no, but like I was the only one who didn't go ACC. Apparently, I guess I didn't get the memoir. Yeah. Anyways, not the memoir. The memo. Ah. Mem- 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 memoirs of a geisha. I don't know. I looked at. I heard memo. I'm. I'm with you, man. I, I, heard I know this one is about to trigger a lot of people, and I say oh, I'm here it. for it. I Go got... ahead and explain your segment first, bro. You just okay. moving. You moving in a thousand miles per hour. You just went right he, into he it. Moving, he moving like Chucky. He's a t- man. I'm just excited to get into this because I want to make more people mad. I was gonna make a. I was gonna make a joke out of that, and then I considered that this was not appropriate for what was going on. <laughs> PG, 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 Dante, PG. No, so this is a brand new segment, you guys. This is Mel Carton Player of the Week. So basically, for his, this happened as a joke because we were always joking about Justin Jefferson going missing. In the last week, I said, you know what? I got an idea. And hence, Mel Carton was born. So basically, anyone who is on this list, they did not really show up or they're on here for a reason, like the first one, compared to their hype. Meaning, if they're respected, for example, let's say Marvin Harrison. He was injured, so I did not put him on there. I know there might be a couple of people asking, why isn't Harrison on here? He was injured. But let's say Marvin Harrison was healthy. Nobody, nobody would have said that anyways because we understand he's injured. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, but no, I've been seeing Michigan fans on Twitter talk about it because apparently I'm on Michigan Twitter. Help me. That's on you. Hey, Hayden, where's Marvin hey, Harrison Jr. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? <laughs> He'll be here in first Wisconsin. I promise you that. Anyways. No. So basically, let's say Marvin Harrison had two catches for 10 yards, no touchdowns. He'll be on here. That's the type of thing it would be for a player to be on the Mel Curtin. So let's get right on into it. And I know I'm about to make some people mad, but I don't care because it's facts. Don't care. We got Drake May for our offensive player. Now, Drake May won 24 for 32, 269 yards, 75 completion percentage, two touchdowns, two interceptions, four rushes for 25 yards. Now, here's the thing. The reason why he's on here is because of his hype. Everyone talking him to be the number one overall pick. Last time I checked, number one overall picks do not play like that. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. He is even (laughs) with that. Last year, he had 38 touchdowns and seven interceptions. He is not going to be on pace for another one of those years that he had last year where people were saying how he's one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. Here, he just played, okay, above average, average average-ish area for a guy that is considered to be elite for how people are talking about him being elite. So that is why Drake May is on here. And I mean, if South Carolina's O line did hold out, especially with those won. two interceptions late game, yeah. they would have won. He he. If you go back and watch the game as well, he he made some throws he really shouldn't have as well. <laughs> what was the check down counter at? Did we get yeah, a final was, count for that? Yeah. Did Did you get a final count for the check down counter? By the way, no, nah, I took it off after he threw like his eighth one. Oh, about anyway. He was not- he was all in he, double digits. Like, that's all what, he does is check downs. And there's a couple check downs he underthrew and overthrew as well. So Drake May is the first ever offensive player on the Mel Carton. Now defensive. Another guy who is eligible for the draft and being talked about as a top player. Leonard Taylor the third from Miami. Ah, ah, Zero. Ah, he, he he put up donuts. Donuts. And I looked, I was like, oh, it's because I was I ha- I watched a little bit of that Miami game Friday. Then we had the call in and stuff. I was like, I believe I saw him playing. I went back, looked. I saw him on the field. He did nothing. Nothing. <laughs> he was bear week. He was the bear Alexander of week zero. 
put up straight up donuts <laughs> at his set line. <laughs> you can't defend that for a guy who's who I was looking at too because I know he was eligible. I was like, okay, let me see where he's eligible at in the draft because this could be important. He, people are saying he's going to be a top 10 pick, a first, like top 10 f- mid first round pick. I'm like, for a guy like that, putting up zeros, that's terrible. Just terrible. Yeah, because he was getting talked about a lot and to come in that game and not not do anything. Anything. I Even when I looked it up, I was like, dang, this dude didn't put up anything. Well, I know why he's on the milk curtain this week. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie. You, 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 put, you had a little smile on your face when you saw that. <laughs> oh, I hate Miami. I hate them worse than, uh, than I hate Florida. So yeah, That's how that's, we bond. Yeah, that's that's we pretty, bond. pretty much it. <laughs> So let's uh thank you, Hayden. Those are those are his missing missing uh people of the week. Where y'all at? May, maybe next time you need to get like a magnifying glass and like oh. don't give me ideas. 